Oh. That, that was really fake because I had already popped my top. I'm sorry. Welcome back to Seltzer Talk. Yes. Where we review and spoil movies. So, yes. Today's... Today's Seltzer Talk is on <laughs> Captain America the Winter Soldier. So, if you haven't seen the movie and want to, and or, and care about spoilers, I should say. If you care about spoilers, don't watch this movie. This... What is wow. this? Wow. Don't watch this show. But if you don't care about spoilers, then continue watching. But you have been sufficiently warned. So we went and saw... Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier. Okay, first thing I have to say is there was a guy in the lobby. I'm telling you, these things only happen to us. Was the guy in the lobby talking like this the whole time? He was like this. He was like a normal human except for his voice. You know how, like in movie, like cartoons, they like do a stereotype of like a nerd. That's him. We then got to see Captain America Two: The Winter Soldier in IMAX 3D. Ooh, at AMC theaters. Ooh. Initial thoughts on Captain America Two: The Winter Soldier. Awesome. It was amazing. It was really good. It was so good. It That's is awesome. on par with the Avengers for me. Oh, easy. easy. Oh, yes. Easy. It is, but it is the best standalone film, I truly believe, um, of the of the group. Well, except for Iron Man 1 was pretty darn amazing. You're right. I'm sorry. It was pretty darn amazing. You're not going to get better than that. It was pretty close. But it, 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 of the standalone movies, Iron but Man But this, this the movie for me, mm. this movie for me. No. no. Catch your opinion. This movie for me was like the best. It was just what I wanted from a superhero film. Okay. It was really good. All right. I agree. It was a really good movie. It's just for me, Iron Man one has I mean, something special. <laughs> it's called Robert Downey Jr. Well, there's that. But this does have Chris Evans, and I have to say, ladies, and you know, I, I've basically sworn off men completely. Uh, but he is. Beautiful, and um, he's built something fierce. I'm just saying, and I don't think I don't think it's been uh, uh, CG enhanced. You know? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. He's he's like Captain Amazing, but he's not. He's Captain America. So what I really liked about this movie was that you went on this adventure with Captain America, and it was exhilarating. He just belched. <laughs> you, you are, you like, m often in the movie you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, I gets... was, I, uh, blindsided multiple times by trucks smacking me in the head. <laughs> Especially in IMAX rough. 3D. That was rough. And then. Certain people looking like they died, but then didn't die and stuff. Well, we can talk about it, because this is a spoiler show. I just hate spoiling it so much. Anyway, let's, let's avoid it if we can. Okay, we gotta talk about Robert Redford. Okay? okay? He looks like his own bobblehead. <laughs> He's a skinny... You can tell his body is just wasting away to nothingness, and his head is ginormous. And it, he really looks like if you shook him, he'd be like... Put him on a dashboard! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this movie. This movie was... There were a couple of scenes that I felt... No, I shouldn't say a couple of scenes. There was one scene that I went... Oh, okay. You know, I didn't feel like it fit with the rest of the movie. Because it was... It was when um, Falcon started fighting Crossbones. Okay, you got to have to help me with the cro Falcon. I know Fal who Falcon okay. is. Crossbones the guy... He, he, the only person he actually gets into a fight with. Oh, okay, that guy. So... <laughs> he... The, they get into this fight and you're like, Oh, we're going to watch this really cool fight between them. And you're like, okay... Mm -hmm. And then it cuts to Captain America with the Winter Soldier and, like, everything blowing up. And they get into this fight, and then it gets cuts to this other thing that happens, and you kind of forget about it because they go jump between a couple different scenes that take precedence. And then all of a sudden you cut back to them, and you're like, oh, that's still happening. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. So I felt like that was just a little weird. I feel like there was a, an editing issue right there. Um, that was really the... That's really my biggest, that's my only problem with this movie. I felt like Sebastian Stan, he had maybe, he was the Winter Soldier, sorry. Sebastian Stan had probably like five lines in this whole movie. 
and he was really good. It was he was very silent the whole film. He and he really did a nice job. He did a great job, especially when he starts to remember that he is Bucky and his that conflict in his face that he has when he's like, "But I knew him." But it it, it was great. He did a very good job about showing that. Uh, the um. The guy who played um, Boutrock or whatever his name is. Yeah, George, George Batrock. He's in the beginning of the movie and he's like... He's a pirate, basically. Yeah, and, and uh, Captain America fights him and he basically is able to fight Captain America. I mean, uh, Captain America goes places and he like harms people with a punch and he like flies them, flings them across, you know... The, the, wide open spaces and there are very few people that give him any resistance whatsoever and so this guy comes in and he's like you expect him to be something more like he's uh, all of a sudden here's this another superhero or something and then he's in like the first few minutes of the show and then you see him again one other time and then he's gone and you never really find out how come he's able to hold his own against Captain America. But I felt I didn't care, mm -hmm. I guess is the best way to put it. Like, it, it wasn't something that bothered me because I didn't care about it. I was like, okay, whatever. The only thing that this show lacked was a little bit more humor. It had some humor. I think all of the Marvel Universes, not the Universe, all of the Marvel Universe, each of the, the stories have a little bit of humor in them. And uh, they seem to... Even the first Captain America had quite a bit of humor in it. I feel like I remember. Mm -hmm. um, but this one just didn't have quite enough. Or maybe I was just so um, involved in all of the action that I didn't notice the humor. Yeah. There were definitely some humorous moments, but they aren't like the guffaws that you have in Iron Man or you have in um, Avengers. So, Nick Fury... He was very good in this movie as well. I mean, he's yeah. very good in all of them. I mean... Uh, no, but I thought this showed a little bit more human side of him. Yes. Rather than just the leader. He showed, you know, that he could be betrayed and he could be uh, hurt yeah. and, and all yes. those things. I thought Scarlett Johansson was just butt-kicking in this movie. Oh, she was great. She was awesome. It was a little... I thought the whole second skin stuff, you know, not to give too many spoilers, but, you know, she disguises herself at some point in the movie. I felt like that was a little cheap. I didn't know they had that kind of technology, and then all of a sudden it's... Did they show anywhere in the Marvel Universe before this that... I'm trying to think if I remember any. I mean, it seemed almost like an X-Men moment. I would kind of expected it to be Mystique. It almost seemed better that the, that the old woman was doing the kick-A. That would have been funny, though. That was that awesome. Would great. That would have been awesome. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I understand why they did it and all, but it just... it Kind of came out of nowhere. The way they disguised her. I mean, I'm all for disguises and stuff, but that yeah. one seemed a little strange. Huh? And the then... way he's thinking. Anthony Mackie. He Who's was saying? Falcon. Good job. You did great. Um, I liked it because it gave... He was really the humorous part of the show. Yeah. He really had the most humor. Um, like the beginning of the movie when he's, when Steve is running past him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you should take another lap. Did you take it? Okay, I assumed you took it. You know? <laughs> it was, that was great. Um, they, they did a very good job with him. Oh, and we, we both liked the little touch the, of, um, uh, Hawkeye. Of Black Widow having the little the arrow. arrow on her necklace. That was cool, really cool. That's cute. And then they also mentioned Doctor Strange. Yeah, they did. In the movie, with I heard that, and I never would have known that that was a thing until he yeah. told me before. Um, they had a lot of Easter eggs in this movie. I have I would when I get the DVD. There's I'm sure you like pause some of the things with the um, the algorithm is picking out the names mm -hmm. stuff. There, you, there are probably a lot of Marvel characters that are in that mm -hmm. that just go too fast at that point. I mean, like you see Tony Stark is is one of the names, but mm -hmm. that's about it. You don't really there's two there's two endings. To this movie, so stay. There's a mid credit two two parter from 1982. So shout out to Galaxy Quest. Things there's one mid credit and there's one very end. The first one it leads into Gar um, Age of Ultron. And the second one is leads into Captain America three. So stay for those. The only problem that I have with end credit scenes 
is that when they introduce new characters, that I guess the general public doesn't know who they are. All right. So, I give this movie an A. A minus. Mm, I'll give it an A. It's very hard to... Well, you know what? I probably... I I would buy it, and I would see it again. I would definitely see it again. If I buy it, then I must like it. Yeah. I mean, because it's silly to buy something you don't like, right? Yeah. Okay. So tune in for when we have another Seltzer Talk, which will come soon. Um, and we will talk to you then about it.